Oh dear. Hold on. Good afternoon and welcome to this week's issue of Play Print 21, the weekly news TV bulletin brought to you by Print 21, the leading magazine for the Australian New Zealand print industry. My name is Wayne Robinson, editor of the magazine. This week's a special edition because we're here at OzPack, the once every two years packaging and processing show uh, produced by APPMA, the Australian Machinery and Manufacturers Association. Uh, this show is not a place where commercial printers would traditionally have been found. However, thanks to digitisation, the lines are blurring these days. And uh, Print 21, actually, we've seen quite a few commercial printers in the aisles here as they scope out new opportunities. Packaging, of course, represents a huge place for commercial, well, where commercial printers and commercial printing businesses to operate into. Uh, the reason being, of course, primarily, unlike a holiday brochure, say, where you can print it or you can read it on the internet these days, uh, where you can't eat your cornflakes off the internet. Uh, there's also big issues in packaging uh, with plastic. It's a huge debate raging at the moment about sustainability, plastic, life cycling. Whereas carton, of course, well, there's no debate there. Carton is completely, well, more or less, completely recyclable. So for printing businesses, uh, packaging represents an opportunity. And we see that with Heidelberg, KBA, Manroll, and all of them getting in there. And next year at Drupal, we'll see a swag of digital carton presses from the likes of EFI. We've already got one screen, KBA, Durst. Um, Heidelberg, of course, Benny Lander, possibly, uh, many more. So packaging, a huge opportunity area for printers. Here at this show, uh, I'm here on the Print 21 and PKN stand, PKN System Magazine and Print 21, and we saw, of course, the uh, virtual reality or augmented reality front cover that PKN did with uh, HP Indigo and read labels. Uh, you scan this front cover with your app and it, and it all comes to life. You can uh, look at the machines in action, you can have a technical talk through on them. Uh, if it was, say, a Mars bar or a yachting magazine, you could go and have a look inside the yacht. You could even get through to buy one if you wanted. Great, uh, great example of packaging there working and covers working, print working with old technology print and new technology, which of course is the uh, AR. Uh, on the stands here, there's some terrific uh, stands with some great equipment on. I was on the EFI on the Aurora stand, and the EFI has got a, a virtual reality or augmented reality uh, set of glasses that you put on, and then you're in a Nozomi machine. Terrific experience. Uh, Aurora has also got a Limitronic machine, brand new into the country. They are distributing it, it's a Spanish machine. And that is for a short run carton work, uh, poor color process work, looks looks amazing, it's going to give great opportunities for on-demand short run, multiple SKUs, whereas before they had to have one long run. Uh, also here on the on the uh, show floor we've got Kodak, has just signed a big deal with Matthews. So Matthews will now be supplying the Kodak S Plus for Plus in printer heads uh, on its equipment, allowing uh, printing to go much further upstream for them. And then HP is here as well with uh, particularly the uh, coding, the track and trace systems they've got. Uh, Mark Dawes from Curry was telling me that uh, from his security conference in Singapore, 30% of all alcohol in Southeast Asia is now counterfeit. 30%. So the opportunities for authentication, for validation, uh, for security, for printers are huge, and there are a lot of printers from Australia at the security event in Singapore. So looking outside the, the uh, looking outside the uh, the box, looking outside printing straightforward holiday brochures. The commercial printers this show represents opportunity as the packaging. Uh, it's until tomorrow. Come along. Um, for the uh, print industry news, regular news, go to print21.com.au and you'll find all the news there you won't find anywhere else delivered straight to you if you sign up for the newsletter or go on and have a look. My name is Wayne Robinson, editor of the magazine, signing off for another week.